If the shipping passages in Cloudford changed even a little, the entire route would be drastically altered. Do you two know the way? I do not. <laughs> I came this way. I know it like the back of my hand. Just follow me. Um, so, silent but deadly, let me know when you're ready and we can set off. Do you hail from the Law Fu, young master Don Hun? Apologies. Forgive my curiosity. I do often struggle to judge the boundaries of small talk. I hope I haven't offended you. Hmm. Please do. Almost nothing. I was scheduled to leave the Law Fu when I heard there was a disturbance. Miss Sushang here is a member of the Cloud Knights. You could try asking her. Her name is Su Shang. She apparently just transferred here from the Yao Qing. Every Senjo ship operates individually, but the Cloud Knights are all commanded by the Marshal. Therefore, it's normal for knights to transfer between ships. Me? Huh. Merchants don't belong anywhere. We wander and make the stars our home. But if you're curious, within the Alliance, I'm registered at the Xianjiu Yutre. Within the IPC, I'm registered at the Star Unity Mall branch at the North Valley Star. Therefore, Luo Cha is just the name I use within the Xianzhou. Outside of the Xianzhou, I use something more... difficult to pronounce. I'm guessing you want to know that name, too? The universe is a dangerous place. The IPC and the Alliance only provide for our safety during interstellar travel. On-site security is dependent on our own... capacities. As such, I had to improve my swordplay and healing skills. You are also a wanderer, young master Don Hung. Surely you understand. A story of ill luck. I found myself embroiled in a conflict and ended up owing a favor. Now I must assist in delivering these remains back to the Xianzhou. It would seem I am a magnet for such misfortune. I thought I would be safe on the Law Fu. But now... Of course. Silent, but deadly. Are you sure that nickname isn't annoying you? It's good to have a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. I'll tell you everything I know. I heard they found an antimatter legion bomb. Out of safety, they locked down the entire ship. They'll only reopen it after they've removed the bomb. I don't know if all that's true, though. Anyway, the higher-ups didn't say anything. They just got me to evacuate the civilians of Cloudford. Nope, I met him when I met you. But you know, now that you mention it, maybe I did see him somewhere. He seems a bit familiar. Where would that have been? Me? There's not much to talk about. Not that long ago. But I've been receiving strict Cloud Knight military training since I was a child. My parents are both famous on the Yaoqin. I wouldn't be here otherwise. They've been training me ever since I was born. Don't look down on me just because I'm a new recruit. Yep. Have you been there before? I feel the Yao Qing and the La Fu have different characteristics. I might be a La Fu Cloud Knight now, but I still think the Yao Qing is better. For example, when it comes to leadership, I don't think General Qing Yuan is as 
reliable as our Madam General back on the Yao Qing. Uh, actually, forget about the last sentence. Just pretend I never said it. Huh? Su Shang? What are you doing here? I have orders to evacuate civilians. See these two behind me? I need to get them out of here quickly. It's too dangerous. You can say that again. Some comrades were injured by monsters in the vicinity. They only just made it out. I'm taking up the rear. I should be out of here soon. You guys should hurry. Silent but deadly. Shout if you see any danger, okay? Don't think just because you know a move or two, you can charge off by yourself. There's supposed to be a passage. Why can't I see it? Somebody used the Cloud Ford control panel to block the road with containers. Uh, who did this? I'm terrible with machines and stuff. Hold on. How do you know? I'm a traveling merchant. I've been here many times. Now, for a cloud knight to be unfamiliar with the local topography. I told you, I was only just transferred here from the Yao Qing. I don't come here very often. Control panel? Where is the control panel? Is that the one? Let me see. Oh, Locha, you've got sharp eyes! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Goodness, there's one star skiff left. What? Where? Where does it go? Judging by where it's docked, it must be heading for Central Star Skiff Haven. Nice. We'll be safe there. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's climb aboard. Let's hurry and get on the Star Skiff. Hmm. Something else? We should be okay. Let's get out of here first and talk about it when we're in the clear. There should be a dedicated evacuation team waiting for us. You can go with them. Okay, but think fast. Let's hurry. Please, do. Not really. I've just seen them before. That's all. Oh, what makes you ask that, young master? I'm happy as long as I get to leave this place. <laughs> oh. 
I'm not a very interesting person. I had some more trading to do on the other Xianzhou ships, but my main appointment was with Miss Ting Yun of the Whistling Flames Merchant Guild. We had a business deal to discuss, but I fear it will no longer go ahead. Most of the deals won't be particularly profitable. The IPC takes the majority. There's only one that might be worth the journey. A direct trade with the Fong Hu. At this stage, I'm just taking it one step at a time. Thankfully, as a registered merchant on the Xianzhou, I get a discount on all my expenses. In that regard, it makes sense for me to stay a little longer. <laughs> Miss Sushnang said she could show me around if I find myself unable to leave. Of course.